The following animation will illustrate the refrigerant cycle and flow sequence for Carrier's economized 19 MV water-cooled centrifugal chiller. We begin in the 19 MV's evaporator, where refrigerant pressure is reduced by the compressor suction. This reduced pressure causes the refrigerant to boil at a relatively low temperature. The energy required for boiling is obtained from the water flowing through the evaporator tubes. With heat energy removed, the water becomes cold enough to use in an air conditioning circuit or process liquid cooling. The refrigerant vapor is now drawn from the evaporator into the 19 MB's back-to-back two-stage compressor. Flow is controlled by the position of the first stage inlet guide vane and the first stage impeller compresses the refrigerant vapor to an intermediate temperature and pressure. Vapor leaving the compressor's first stage mixes with cooler intermediate pressure refrigerant vapor exiting the economizer's secondary flow. The compressor's second stage inlet guide vane helps equalize load between the two stages of the compressor while the impeller accelerates the vapor, further increasing its temperature and pressure. The vapor now exits the second stage compressor and enters the 19 MV's condenser. Water flowing through the condenser tubes removes energy from the refrigerant vapor. The vapor condenses to a liquid collecting in the sensible subcooler at the bottom of the condenser. The subcooler extracts additional heat from the liquid refrigerant reducing its temperature before it continues toward the economizer. In the economizer section, the refrigerant directly enters one side of a braze plate heat exchanger. After passing through one side of the heat exchanger, the high pressure liquid refrigerant is divided, creating a secondary flow which is directed through an expansion valve. Here, the liquid refrigerant's secondary flow is reduced to an intermediate pressure and then fed into the other side of the heat exchanger. The secondary flow boils into a vapor absorbing energy from the primary flow through the plates in the heat exchanger. The high pressure primary flow refrigerant is cooled, which increases its capacity to absorb heat in the evaporator. Simultaneously, primary liquid flow continues through the expansion control system to become a low pressure liquid which enters the evaporator to complete the cycle. The intermediate pressure secondary flow vapor returns to the compressor second stage. Since the vapor only travels through half of the compression cycle, this work requires less energy input and improves the efficiency of the entire system. The expansion control system adapts to the various conditions the chiller encounters. When low condenser water conditions exist, the 19 MV will continue to run without the use of hot gas bypass. Thus, the 19 MV can maintain stable and efficient operation, providing unconditional performance.